In this tutorial, we are going to talk about electric field and electric forces practice questions. So I've got a number of questions with me here. The first question is, uh, what must be the charge, which is the sign and the magnitude of the particle of mass 1.43 grams, B for it to remain stationary when pressed in a downward direction electric field of magnitude 660 newton per coulomb then part b what is the magnitude of an electric field in which the electric force on a proton is equal is equal in magnitude to its weight so let's first start with part a now we have been given the mass so we can clearly see that we have the mass now this mass This mass which have been given here is in grams. We have to convert this from grams to kgs. Okay. So there we go. This is the same as just times 10 to the power negative 3 or just divide it by a thousand. So this is now in kgs. What else do we have? We also have the electric field which we've been told that this is 660 newton per coulomb. Okay. Now, the question is saying, what must be the charge, or what must the charge of a particle 1.43 grams be for it to remain stationary when placed in a downward direction electric field? Now, the electric field is going downward, downward direction. That is our electric field. Okay, now let's say the charge is here, but we don't know the sign of this charge. But what we have been told that this charge is at stationary. Okay, so now when something is at stationary, it is in free form. What we need to remember is that there is always the force of gravity which is trying to pull this object down. Now, if this force of gravity for it to remain at stationary or in stationary, meaning that the electric force has to be in that direction so that the mg and the electric force should be the same then the net force will be zero that charge is going to be uh, at stationary at that point okay now let's think of this we have been told that the electric field is is moving is going downward and one thing we have to understand is that we are trying to find the the magnitude so if it is at stationary the summation of all the forces in y direction in this case we have got the the electric field the knee which is pointing upward i'm going to assign it as a positive then i also have the mg pointing downward which is going to be minus according to Newton's second law since it is at stationary it is not moving the net force is zero so i'll replace that with a zero will be the electric f force minus mg you can shift this to the other side I'll say that eh, mg is equal to Fe or Fe is equal to mg I'll leave it there now one thing we have to understand is that eh, the electric field is also given by the electric force divided by the charge okay so now here we are trying to have been given the electric field but we want to find the charge okay so meaning i have to find a way on how i'm going to eliminate this electric force because i don't need it i don't have any information about the electric force let's make the electric force as a subject of formula so if i cross multiply here i'll find that electric force will be equal to the electric field times the charge so i can replace where there is electric force with the electric field times charge so here i'm going to replace with this is equal to mg my goal is to find the charge and i have now everything i can just divide both sides by electric field even here by electric field so charge will be given by mg divided by e okay let's go ahead and now plug in the values so have a charge will be equal to the electric the mass is uh, 1.43 times 10 to the power 3 times 
9.8 was 30 G. Then now electric field is 60, 60. So Q will be equal to 1.43 times 10 to the power negative 3 times 9.8 divided by 6 60. So the electric charge which I'm getting, I have to put it in scientific notation. It is um, 2.12 times 10 to the power negative 5 coulomb. That is my charge. Now, if I want to make this, I want to put the answer, I want to report my answer in micro coulomb, I'm supposed to do times 10 to the power. I'm supposed to do uh, times 10 to the power 6. So I can also say times 10 raised to the power 6 that meaning that my answer will be in micro or in micro coulomb in that case okay so my answer in micro coulomb is going to be my q i can put it here will be equal to 212.33 micro coulomb so if you want, you can report your answer in micro coulomb or just the coulomb the way it is here. It's okay. Okay? So that's the magnitude of this charge. Now, the question here is saying we need to find the magnitude and the sign. Okay? Now, how, how can you find the sign here? Let's think of this. Finding the sign here, we need first to think of the electric field and the electric force. So we are, we are saying that electric field is going in that direction. And one thing we have to remember is that uh, the positive charge it will go in the same direction with the, what, uh, the electric field. Then the negative charge has to go in the opposite direction. Okay? So now, one thing we have to remember is that the electric force is in that direction. Then here we have uh, mg. Now that the elect now we know that the electric field is moving is going downward. If the electric field is going downward, meaning that if we're talking about the positive, the positive is also moving in the same direction. Okay? So if the electric if the positive charge, if we have if we have the positive charge, definitely we expect that one to start now going down. Okay? Now, since we know that where the electric field is going where the electric field is going meaning down here it is negative the surface here is negative charged so this is negative charge down part here the surface is negative charge that's why the electric field is going downward so if i make the charge to be positive definitely the, the meaning that is going to be attracted is, is going to be moving down but if i make this charge to be negative Okay, let's think of this. If I make this charge to be negative, meaning that this negative and the negative which is down here, they are going to be repelled to each other. Therefore, it's going to mean at stationary. So the charge has to be negative so that it should be repelled with the negative which is here. The reason why we are thinking that the surface is negative but is just because the electric field is also pointing downward. Okay? The electric field is pointing downward, meaning that that's where the that's where the the negative is okay so now one thing we have to understand of this when we're talking about the electric field one thing we have to understand is that if you have got a negative here okay the electric field will always move toward the negative so these are electric field now, since this electric field is coming down, meaning that where it is going, it is negative. The surface is negative. When we have got a positive, it will always learn away from the positive. That's what we need to know. Okay? So it is going toward, meaning that where it is going is negative. So we have been told that the electric field is going downward. Meaning that downward there, it is negative. So the charge has to be negative so that it should remain stationary. The negative and negative should repel each other. We can't make this charge to be positive. Once we make it to be positive, it's going to be attracted to downward as well. But we want it to be suspended in air. So it has to be negative. So the sign is negative and the magnitude is 2. 
2.12 times 10 to the power negative 5 coulomb. We are done for part A. Now we go to part, to part B. So part B is saying, what is the magnitude and what is the magnitude of the electric field in which the electric force on a proton is equal to the magnitude of its weight? Okay. Now here we are talking about a proton. So we need to know the mass of the proton. Okay. The mass of the proton, one, one thing we need to know is 1.67 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kgs. That is the mass. Then what's the charge? The charge of the proton is, is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulomb. Then we know that eh, when we are talking about um, it is also suspended in air. That's what we've been told. Meaning that here you have mg. Here you have the electric field in going in that direction. The summation of the forces in y direction will have this minus mg. So we end up having 0 to be equal to this. We have the same thing. So we have f is equal to mg. Remember that electric field is given by the electric force divided by a charge. And our goal is to find the electric field. We are not interested in the electric force. So we we'll make electric force here as a subject of formula. It's going to be electric field times Q. So I will replace this with the electric field times Q. Our goal is to find the electric field. We divide it by this. So this will be equal to mg divided by Q. Now we have everything here, guys. So this will be equal to the mass is uh, 1.67 times 10 to the power 27 times 9.8 divide this by the charge 1.60 times 10 to the power negative 19 so the electric field for this proton is going to be 1.67 times 10 to the power next 27 times 9.8 I divide it by 1.60 times 10 to the power negative 19 So I'll put it in scientific notation. The answer is 1.023 times 10 to the power negative 7 Newton per coulomb. That is my electric field. So that is it for this question.